And good evening, everyone. Between five and 600,000 people made their way downtown to Cincinnati this weekend for beer, comic books, and football. That's according to police who spent months making sure the fun wasn't ruined by violence. It wasn't. Local 12's Angela Ingram joins us now with why keeping the peace was a major concern. Angela. Now, Curtis, police estimated there would be hundreds of thousands of people downtown and they were well prepared. Officers were highly visible and flooded the area to make sure things went smoothly. Oktoberfest, Cincinnati's Comic Expo, UC's homecoming game, and the Bengals game all jam-packed into one weekend. So you came down for Oktoberfest, and, and what did you think of everything? It was a great night. It was getting a little chilly, but it was a great night. And uh, I, Cincinnati should be proud that they can put on something like this every year without a problem. The Comic Expo took place at the Convention Center, and Friday, thousands began pouring into the downtown area to enjoy German food and beer during Oktoberfest. Oh, I thought it was great. The weather was perfect. Um, I think Sam had a good time. He got a balloon hat and had some good German food, so it was, it was a good time. Police officers were highly visible, walking, bicycling, in squad cars, golf carts, and on segways. Members of Citizens on Patrol also kept an eye out. With uh, UC, Oktoberfest, Bengals, we're, you know, we think somewhere between five, 600,000 people uh, came through down here. Um, and that's, that's a lot of people, and we have had no major incidents. After assaults following the taste of Cincinnati and shootings downtown near Piat Park over the summer, the police chief reassured the public that downtown would be safer for future events. Planning was a huge part of this weekend's success. Overall, did you feel safe? Oh, 100%, yeah. Didn't uh, feel at any time that there was anything inappropriate going on, really. Um, and didn't even hear of anything, so I think it was success for sure. Police say from time to time they may have had to move some people along who had too much to drink, but again, no major criminal incidents, and of course, that was the goal. Curtis, back to you. Angela, thank you. Several major streets around Fountain Square were blocked because of the events. Police put out warnings in advance, helping people navigate around all that gridlock.